Hey guys, welcome back to Journey with Rebecca. I am Rebecca and this is my journey. Um, on my last video, I talked about American foods that are banned in other countries and I spoke about how I wanted to start a series of things that you can make at home instead of buying them from the grocery store, which is what I am starting today. So if you are interested in being able to make your own foods or snacks at home that have better ingredients in them please feel free to hit that subscribe button so you can follow along the series with me so this particular thing that i'm making today was not actually on the list of banned foods but it is something that my kids enjoy and i feel like i could make a healthier version at home so today i'm making uh, mini blueberry muffins you know the muffins that come in the packages and they have like five muff four or five muffins to a package um and there's like blueberry and chocolate chip and all that well my kids like to eat those um, but i figured i could make it better so i actually went to the grocery store the other day and um i checked out the ingredients to see what was in there and there was a lot a lot of ingredients in there um and i thought well i can make these right at home i have a mini muffin pan i i can do it all right from home um, so the ingredient, the store-bought, um, blueberry muffins have over 15 ingredients in them. The blueberry muffins that I am making today have seven ingredients in them, um, and at which I'm just measuring out some flour right now. So, uh, seven ingredients, no artificial flavors or colors, which is something, the oven is ready, which is something that is in the store-bought muffins. The recipe that I'm using actually is just my recipe that I use for my banana bread and my banana bread muffins, and I've just adapted it. I've kept everything the same except for bananas. I'm using blueberries. I already have sugar here that I have measured out. So this is three quarters of a cup of just plain white sugar. And then I have two eggs that I have lightly beaten and I have two tablespoons of butter and I'm just going to mix those all together. Normally, if I were making my banana muffins, I would add the bananas in it as well. But since we're using blueberries, I want them to hold their shape a little bit. I'm not going to fold them in until the last thing. I suppose you could use a hand mixer for this if you wanted to, but you really don't need to. All right, that's it, super simple. Then I'm gonna take my two cups of flour that I just measured out while I was talking to you. And in this little dish, I have one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of baking soda, that's it. So I'm just going to mix those in together. I thought about, um, I thought about sifting my flour, but I decided I really didn't need to. All right, so just combine those in real quick. You're going to add in your wet ingredients. I should grab a spatula. I don't know if I'm going to, though. There, fine. So just combine these until they're all mixed in together. It's going to take a sec. All right, I have a confession to make. So like I said, I'm using the same recipe that I typically use for my banana bread. Well, I forgot that I don't have the moisture from the bananas. So I did add about a half a cup of milk to this because the mixture was too dry. So I lied. There's eight ingredients, not seven. But still, much, much better than 15 to 20 ingredients. All right, these are all full. I still have some left over. I might actually make a couple of larger muffins too. I'm just gonna throw these in the oven. I have never made these before. I don't know how long they're gonna take to cook, so I will remember to set a timer so we can see how long they take. Okay, you guys, these turned out so good. They're so cute. They're definitely homemade, um, which is the best part. Um, here is one of them. 
They took exactly 20 minutes. They're perfectly browned on the top. I did make two other bigger ones that I filled way too much. <laughs> They're still in the oven right now, but these are delicious and cute. I mean, they're just filled, filled with blueberries. They're so good. Um, I haven't quite decided how I'm going to package these yet because normally they come in the little packages. You grab one, throw them in your lunch, have them for a snack, eat them for breakfast. If I just throw them all in one big bag, the kids will devour them within two days. And I would like these to last a little bit longer. Um, so I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do yet because I don't want to waste a ton of plastic by packaging like that. But I do have some reusable plastic bags, so I might use that. But anyways, guys, these are the cutest. They turned out so good. Good for you. Way better than the store-bought ones. You don't have to get fancy. You just have to get healthy, right? So I hope you guys give this a try. Even though, you know, I made a blunder with my recipe mix and I didn't think about the fact that I was going to need some more moisture in there. I did probably add about a half a cup. I didn't measure. I don't know. If you're going to make this at home, maybe you want to measure. I didn't measure. I just mixed it till it felt good. <laughs> um, so anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this. I have way more coming up on things that you can make at home with better ingredients, better for you ingredients, instead of going to the grocery store and buying them. So I hope you stay tuned for that. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and I will see you all really soon.